Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm here in St. Clair, and I actually live here, and I know another YouTuber who lives here. Demetrius Levi. Papa bless, boys and gals. <laughs> so, we're here today to show you five cool things about St. Clair. Let's get her done. Alright, so number one on our list is the St. Clair Boardwalk. Alright, so we're walking down this beautiful boardwalk and one of the really cool things about this is this is the longest freshwater boardwalk in the entire United States. Yeah, and also if you've seen the Nafplio video, which should be linked up somewhere up here, it actually kind of gives you those Greek Nafplio vibes or even Italian vibes. And so I get you know, a little homesick of my other home in Napoli. <laughs> so sometimes if I'm just kind of feeling down or like I miss Greece, this place, it just gives off the perfect vibes with the water and it's super blue for a river. You don't get much bluer than this. Cool thing number two about St. Clair is the St. Clair Inn. It was founded on September 22nd, 1926, and was the first American inn to offer air conditioning. Yeah, and it actually was really famous too because it had steamboat. It was a place to accommodate guys on freighters and steamboats, and Jimmy Hoffa was last seen, or one of the last places he was seen was actually here. And if you don't know who Jimmy Hoffa is, Ask your dad or watch The Irishman. It's a good movie. So the owners of the St. Clair Inn spent a lot of time and effort renovating it, and they actually finally got it open before the coronavirus, of course, made it shut down. Yeah, and you know what, though? It's still cool, though, I mean, when it opens up again, because you got these great cottages that are perfect for uh, honeymoons, and it's got a lot of good restaurants and bars. I've been in one of the bars, and I loved it. Such good vibes. Yeah. All right, so cool thing in St. Clair number three is Murphy Inn, which was opened in 1836 before the state of Michigan even became a state. And it's still one of the oldest inns in Michigan. Yeah, and sailors came here usually to stop for the night. And it's historically connected to the Dorsey House, which is another inn, very similar, which is about a half hour north of here. Now, it apparently is haunted, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you're into that kind of stuff. And they got great pizza, though. And it's half off on Monday, so definitely the time to go. And the sushi is pretty good, too, only on Wednesdays. You'd be surprised at how good it is. Irish can make sushi. <laughs> they can, apparently. <laughs> All right, cool thing about St. Clair, number four is the boat harbor. If you have a boat, this is the place to go. And if you don't got one, then you can just rent the canoes or the jet skis here and go through the Pine River, which leads us to our final destination, which is Plains Nature Trail, formerly known as the BP Trail because it was owned by BP, but now it's owned by the city of St. Clair. Yeah, and this is super, super nice because it's just three miles. It's right in town and does a little loop and it's super diverse and different. Like the environment changes every half mile or so. So it's always interesting. It's never boring. And I've been going here for 10 years and I still don't get tired of it. Great place to get some good exercise. All 
All right, guys, thank you for watching. This is gonna do it for me. That was five cool things from St. Clair. And if I missed anything, leave a comment down below and tell me the other cool stuff in St. Clair that I didn't get to. And also a big thank you to Demetrius Levi for helping me out with this video. He has an awesome channel about men's fashion. Go check it out, I'm gonna link it in the description. Oh, thank you, bro. Papa bless everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Woo-hoo! Perfect.